we all stood and we abhorred the violence that occurred and the threat to the very democracy that we hold so dear and swore an oath to protect and uphold. Reject deceit. Reject fear-mongering. Reject sedition, tyranny, and insurrection. Reject the demand for fealty to one man over fidelity to one's country. When I addressed the House during the debate over the Articles of Impeachment in December 2019, I said the following. We need not ask who will be the first to show our courage by standing up to President Trump. The question we must ask, who will be the last to find it? Senator McConnell, Representative Cheney, a number of other representatives who have spoken on this floor with great courage, Madam Speaker, because there is much fear of Donald Trump. There's much fear of Donald Trump's tweets. There's much fear of Donald Trump's retribution for opposition. In my view, Donald Trump demands absolute loyalty and gives none in return. I hope others will join Liz Cheney. I hope others will be honest with themselves and with their constituents. As Liz Cheney was saying, there has never been a greater portrayal by a president of the United States of his office and his oath to the Constitution. Don't dismiss that. She is the daughter of a vice president of the United States who was the whip when I came to Congress. As she has taken a stand, I hope others will as well, Madam Speaker. Soon, the clerk will call the roll and ask for our votes. Make no mistake, this will be no ordinary roll call. This is about our country, our Constitution, and our democracy. These votes will be inscribed on the roll of history, a record of courage and of our commitment to country and Constitution, of our commitment to the rule of law and renewal of that which we inherited and hope to pass on, unbroken, unshattered. With just seven days left in the President's term, this vote is not about timing. It is about principle and fidelity to our Constitution. It concerns the clear and present danger facing our country, not only in these final days of the Trump administration, but in the weeks, months, and years that will follow. It is about the necessity to demonstrate to this generation and to future generations the duty we share to protect our democracy every single day. The biggest stories, the moment they happen from around the globe. Subscribe to Bloomberg Quick Take now for insight in an instant.